Hey guys, today I'm gonna do a quick uh, tutorial video. It's gonna be in English, so everybody can can do it. I, I couldn't really find any tutorials online or on YouTube that told how to do this, so I, I thought I'd make a video about it. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make DJI's image uh, from 4.3 to 16.9 SuperView uh, directly in DaVinci Resolve because that's the editing program I use, so I like that I didn't have to put it through another program. This can actually take a while when you render it, but I think it's easier and it gets the best image. I saw the... I saw the, um, the script thing, and it was that was nice because it was fast, but I didn't really like the quality. I don't know, maybe they refined it since I tried it last, but... This is my approach anyway. First of all, you have to download the file that's in the description and place it in the directory. I'm gonna show the link here. And you need to, it, on your computer, it's gonna be something in the lines of what I write, uh, but it differs from, from user to user a little bit. But the end folder should be the same. Okay. So now I open DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna click the little wheel in the bottom right to set it to the resolution that I want. In case you don't didn't know that, you have to set the resolution and frame rate um, beforehand because you can't change it afterwards. So I'll, I usually do it on 2.7K, so that's going to be... timeline. I'm gonna cut it really quick. I don't need a lot just to show you guys. So this is the clip. When you have the clip, uh, it defaults cuts away the black sides when you go to the Fusion tab where you need to add the Super View as you can see here. It cuts them away. So to make sure it's still 16.9 when you're done you go back to the, the edit page right click and you can do this to all of your uh, clips once you're done editing i would highly recommend you edit everything first and then afterwards put the super view on because it's kind of hard on your computer and anyway i have a hard time doing playback after i i do that so I'm gonna make a new compound clip and just call it whatever. And then when we go to the Fusion tab, as you can see, we have the black borders. Now to get the super view on, you go to your nodes and then you right click on the line and go add tool. Once you're here, you're gonna go to macros and use the super view 2.0. And as you can see, it stretches it. If you don't know what Superview is, it's a non-linear linear stretch where the, it stays normal in the middle and then stretches it on the sides. And once you do that, you can go to the delivery page, give it a name, test. And I'm gonna go and select MP4, H264 codec. I'm gonna make sure the resolution is still my custom resolution, which is 2.7K. I'm gonna add it to the render queue and render it. Once you're done with the rendering, you can check it out. Uh, I'm gonna put a clip of both of them before and after, so you can see. Uh, the edges will get a little bit distorted and grainy. Um, it's, it's not perfect. And it's only it's only HD, but it's pretty good and good for most people.
So this was my tutorial. I hope you liked it. I hope it helped you. If you want to check some Danish gibberish, check out my other videos. Some flying too. I use it all the time. So you can see there. I also use a GoPro sometimes. Depends on the situation. So bye for now.